So this is going to be us trying to peek in to the Queen's private uh, feelings about Harry's future. Okay? So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. There. That's what I'm doing. I got my signals mixed up because the next one is thank you very, very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Look, we all think we're so smart. We're watching the news and we're, we're taking everything that's being fed to us by the media and we feel like we know who the queen is and how she feels. And we know how we would feel if we were the queen. But guess what? You don't in any of those cases. You just don't. And uh, she knows. She's been through this through the ages. She's seen these scandals boil up and boil over or remain uh, and fester. She has been there since she was a young woman of 27 and now she's 95. Queen knows. Let's see if we can figure it out. And you don't if you don't think she's giving advice to Charles, you're completely wrong. She knows that the monarchy depends on how this plays out, and she has very different ideas about how that's going to happen. And I'm sure, especially given time being what it is, she's going to let her feelings be known. And she's a wise woman. So let's see if we can tap into some of that wisdom. I just pray that we can. Okay, so this is the Housewives Tarot, a domestic divination kit with deck and instruction book by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. And this is put out by Quirk uh, uh, Press, I guess it's called. So this is so neat. It's reminiscent of a recipe box. And it's, it's really sturdy, solid, thick cardboard. And it's got so many cool illustrations on the outside. It was only about $16. And... Um, and then it's even got here, uh, guaranteed by the housewife occultists of America. Just really neat. Okay. So if we go inside, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's set up just like a recipe box. The first little card here, you'll see it says uh, the housewife tarot. And then on the back of this, it just tells you about the publisher and the uh, copyrights and that sort of thing. But the second card is labeled as the major arcana. Okay. And then the back of it is an actual real recipe. I mean, I've read the recipe. You can make this. This one's called the Icebox um, Fortune Cake. And I won't read the recipe, but I'll just tell you this cool uh, little thing says is for use with the Neapolitan spread. The spread is referring to, I think, four or six uh, ways to divide the card, to spread the cards out. So this is for use with the Neapolitan spread. And it says here, eat this cake quickly before your past, present, and future start melting together. Really, you know, just cute. Uh, the first section here had the major arcana in here separately. Of course, I've mixed up the cards and, and shuffled them, so it's not that anymore, but I put that little group there so you can see what it looked like. The second um, card here is the uh, minor arcana uh, card, recipe card. Again, another recipe that you can actually prepare. This is like deviled eggs, but they've called it here divinated eggs instead of deviled eggs. And it says for use with the dinette spread. So like a dinette table. And it says you'll never go back to deviled eggs once you've had them divinated. Really cool and a decent recipe. The third um, card, which I've got out of, uh, and then the, of course the uh, pip cards, the minor, minor arcana with it. The third card, which was actually uh, here, uh, it talks about the instruction booklet. And I'll pull it out and it says, yep, instruction booklet. And then on the back, another recipe. And this is his Madame Marlena's Mystical Martini. It's for use with the martini spread, which is another spread they recommend. And also it's an, all, an, an actual, actual recipe you could prepare. The booklet itself is amazing. It's a really good quality of booklet, okay? It's got full color and really great, uh, interesting divinations for the cards. But the first part is what's so cool. The first page here tells you one, two, three, four, five different spreads that you could uh, lay the cards out in, they suggest, they've developed. 
And then this, I'll just tell you this first little paragraph and then a last sentence, because this is just gives you an idea of how uh, quirky and how interesting this thing is written. It says right here, regarding the mystical housewife's tarot, the legend. Uh, according to gossip, the housewife's tarot was introduced by housewife extraordinaire Marlene Louise Weatherby in the early 1950s. She was a happy homemaker who seemed to have it all, a devoted husband, obedient children, a sparkling home that was the talk of the town, a fashion sense to die for, and for more than her fair share of, and more, far more than her fair share of women's intuition. Very cool. And then just the last sentence is so neat. It says here, just how exactly did Marlene acquire these mis this mystical knowledge? Whether Whenever pressed, she kept her lips sealed tighter than Tupperware. Marlene took her secret to the grave, bless her heart, and the origin of the housewife's tarot shall remain shrouded in mystery forevermore. Just really, really very thoughtful, everything about this. So if you can't tell, I'm loving the deck. So that's the box. The cards, uh, actually, they're a decent weight of cards, okay? They're not too slick. And uh, this kind of looks like a tablecloth, doesn't it? And then, uh, let me lay them out for you. The, the are different, um, the Major Arcana and then the Minor uh, Pip cards have their own kind of color-coded uh, sequencing here. Major Arcanas are circled in black. The uh, cups are in blue and uh, green for the pentacles, etc. and so forth. And they're very colorful. They're easy to divine. The only thing I would say is that this Empress for instance, is the number two of the Major Arcana. And in typical Rider Waite system, number two is the High Priestess. And if I'm not mistaken, the High Priestess in this was actually labeled as a number three, which would be the Empress. So that doesn't quite uh, me meld with the uh, Rider Waite system, but they're easy enough to divine because they tell you right here what this card is supposed to be. You know, I lay the cards out like this so that you get a chance to see more than just the few that come out when we do a reading. And um, to also give you an example of, the, you know, if you're doing a reading for someone, they can do this too and uh, lay the cards out and you kind of get their energy you know, you know, if you don't particularly want them to shuffle them which I don't particularly like people to shuffle my cards because I kind of shuffle them uh, not in a um, you know not in a, a rough manner so here we have it the housewives tarot really great so it just seemed to me like this is the perfect card for this question the Queen, Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future because it looks to me like she understands there's some house cleaning to do right now okay there's some things to get uh, swept up and taken care of and um, so yeah I think these are the perfect cards you know they seem like such uh, a, a non regal uh, card for such a real subject the queen but you know what in the end she's a grandmother she's a mother she is the now only uh, the matriarch of that family she doesn't have Philip there to sort of guide what's going on behind the scenes it's her okay so yeah she recognizes that there are some loose ends to be tidied up and I'm sure that she has opinions on it and uh, and she understands how important it is for those opinions to be made known without doubt so Queen Elizabeth oh this is interesting you know I'm not gonna leave it like that we're gonna shuffle them a little bit more and see if we get a cleaner uh, spread here to choose from Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future Let's see how this works out take my time and it came out a little bit nicer so six cards right off the top for this full Celtic cross Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future. Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future. Is that six? I think it is. Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future. What can you cards let us know about that? Queen Elizabeth and Harry's future. Do I have six cards? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I do. Okay, Queen Elizabeth on Harry's future. One card was kind of hidden there. It's interesting. The signifier card for this is this Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is just like in this pie safe here, holding on to your value. Okay. She knows what's, what she's baked up and what she's got in reserve here. And uh, she's looking for the right time to swing those doors open and share that with everybody else. You bake these pies for the family, don't you? You don't do it for anybody else. So that's the signifier card of the Queen Elizabeth for Harry. And uh, would she leave him out of the bounty? The challenge to that is the hanged man. 
<laughs> That's exactly right. I mean, you were in a moment of suspense. This is the queen and this is Harry. Okay. This is on the line. Okay. She understands that, uh, the, you know, our, our, our dirty uh, laundry is going to be aired. And, uh, and if she's the one in charge of it, she'll have it aired at exactly the right time. So the hanged man, something in suspense, looking at something from an other perspective. And it looks to here like if this is the queen, that Harry's the one whose perspective needs to get adjusted. Okay? Very interesting. So, very interesting cards right there. The uh, base of that reading for the queen uh, regarding Harry's future. And look, the same card I, I showed it in the beginning of this deck when I pulled, peeled the cards open and we had the sprue here. I was talking about that there are things that need to be tidied up. So the basis of this is, yeah, with this Queen of Wands, the wands are actions, plans, uh, motion, fire. Look, she is the Queen of Wands. And she's right here and she's saying, look, there's some stuff, there's some house clean, cleaning, housekeeping that needs to be done. Okay, why haven't we done it? The uh, past of this reading then with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is looking at your bounty and say, looking at your garden and say, look at all I've done. Uh, this woman has, has wrapped up her garden hose. She's made a collection of some of these uh, flowers and she's looking like she's pretty happy with what she's done here. This Seven of Pentacles, this tree is in full bloom. It's fully fruited and she's looking at this and she's saying, look, I think I've done as much as I can do in a lot of regards regarding this family. In the sky of this re uh, reading for the Queen on Harry, Three of Wands. <laughs> Three of Wands is future planning, long-term plans. She's getting this cleaned up, okay? This queen is not going to leave things undone, okay? Long-term planning. This queen is looking at this and, and, and making sure some things are known, are done, are cleaned up. She's getting the whole family in on this. And then the um, likely outcome of this first part of this Celtic cross for the queen on Harry, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the knight is the fellow, you know, pinnacles are value, they're worth. The knight is the fellow in the uh, royal suite who is going to get something done. When he's given a job, he's going to go out and do it. And this young fellow looks like William to me. Okay, so is he the one that needs to get this uh, uh, tidied up? The self of that question, Queen Elizabeth on Harry. Queen Elizabeth on Harry. Self of that question then is this Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is putting something together for public display. And look at her. She's making sure the supports are there. The props are there. Everything is there to hold this up for public display in the correct order. And the, the other members of that family are just looking on and saying, oh, okay. Okay, Mom. We get it. Okay. Granny, as I've heard them call their, their grandmother. Beautiful. Um, the environment that that's in for the Queen and Harry is, again, this Queen of Pentacles, the woman of her value. She knows what she's worth. Look, this woman is getting ready to go out the door. She's got her mink on her on her arm. She's got her crown. She's fully dressed. She's given the kids or the family, uh, you know, a few last minute instructions, but she's picked up her value and she's taking it with her and she's going out the door and she's saying, do what I'm telling you. Stay right here. Everything will be fine. Okay. That's the environment that this is in. The uh, hopes and the fears for all of this, Queen on Harry, is this high priestess. You know, the high priestess is intuition. The secret syrup, the mysteries of the universe are sweeter than you know. That's what this says right here under that. I don't know if you can even see it, but that's what it says. I just read it to you. The mysteries of the universe are sweeter than you know. I love that. This high priestess knows what has to be done. She can see into the future. She is all-knowing. And she, this card tells us to use our intuition. And our intuition tells us that the queen is going to leave the monarchy in the best condition that she can, and she's going to do the same for her family. The um, final outcome for all of this, the queen and Harry, is the fool. It's a new journey. This queen is getting ready to start off on the eternity of her new journey. She's shedding all these worldly goods behind her, just letting them fall loose, only taking what's most important with her. And I can't really see what's left in that purse. But yeah, all these worldly uh, possessions, all these worldly considerations, the lipstick, the perfume, the ring, the uh, you know, all of this stuff isn't important. She's only taking what she needs on this new journey. And she's going to leave that house completely clean and ready for the next occupants. 
I love this reading. So the queen on Harry, look, this um, mother, this grandmother has the pies in her pie safe and she's not getting ready to open it yet, but she knows what they're worth. She's challenged by this hanged man. This is Harry. He's got to get another perspective and granny is going to let him know what that perspective is. Um, the, we won't ever know that. The uh, base of this reading with this queen of wands is understanding. She's got a stern look on her face. We need to get this house cleaned up. We need to get this done. And uh, with the seven of pentacles, she's got everything in her garden that she needs. She's wrapped up that hose. She's getting ready to go inside. And she's saying, look at this. We have everything that we need. With the, in the sky of this reading, with this three of wands, long-term planning, get it cleaned up. I've got right here everything we need to get the job done. In the likely outcome of that, with this knight of pentacles, somebody has to get this ready for public display. And this young man, who always has to go mow the grass, is the young guy, okay? This is, um, this is uh, William, in my opinion. And then uh, the self of that question, the, the, um, this is the Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, uh, the fellow who's got to get things done. With his Three of Pentacles, getting something uh, together for public display, the Queen is right down here putting in the finishing touches, and everyone's looking down and saying, oh, yeah, okay, Mom, yes, Granny, that's exactly right. This is beautiful, what you've done here. It's, it's in the environment of this Queen of Pentacles who's on the way out the door. She's got her value in her hand, and she's saying, everybody, you all just stay right here. Everything will be fine. With this high priestess, our intuition, the secret syrup, the mysteries of the universe are sweeter than you know. Love that for the hopes and the fears. And then the fool on her new journey, she's left all her worldly uh, encumbrances behind. She's only taken what's important to her. And uh, she's off on that new journey with a smile on her face. Love this. The queen and Harry, she's getting things prepared. Well, I hope we tapped in. I don't know. Um, tell me what you think. But um, in, in that collective consciousness, we know that this is uh, heavy on the minds of a lot of people and a lot of people in that family. So hopefully, hopefully, this was a line into that. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.